Okay, we are in Oyo State. We are in Jobele Oyo. Jobele Oyo. Oyo State. And today I have this beautiful sister with us who is a who is a woman babalao. And so today we're gonna to discuss the importance of women being in the positions of babalaos, which is Yanifa. Correct? Yes, Yanifa. Correct. So uh, what interests you in becoming a babalao, especially from a woman's uh, perspective? And uh, the Yanifa means woman in Nifa. Mm -hmm. You also call it Ifa princess. It, it is also Yanifa. Men in Nifa is called Babalao. Okay. Yes. So, because men, woman, uh, female can be uh, uh, Babalao. They cannot call it Babalao. We call them Yanifa. Once female learn Ifa to the core. Okay. If a uh, male learn Ifa to the level that it is under every case, it's called they are, they, can, they are the same thing. Okay. They are the same thing. Yanifa and Babalao, they are the same thing. They are doing the same perfect job. Okay. Are there a lot of women Babalaos or Yanifas? What? Are there a lot of Yanifas? Uh, they are scarce. They are scarce. Okay. Mm -hmm. They believe if you take alcohol, you get high. Drunk high, what? Okay. High, not drunk. You get high. Spirits. Your spirits move up. That's why it's called spirits. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if, so, I, mean, I believe the reason of using a walk to appease the Orishas is because they want their spirit to be lifted so that they can listen to you straight and. Not the Orisha, but the practitioner. The practitioners do take a walk. Because anything you are giving to your wisha, right? You taste, it. taste it. Okay. So that you don't give your, your wisha will see that you are not giving him or her poison. Got you. Okay. So this is my next question. Okay. Hear me on this one. We have palm wine. African made. Yes. African made palm wine. Yeah. Why not give the Orishas African palm wine, but we give them instead? Gin from Europe. I will tell her to answer that. Okay. You understand? I want her to answer that. Okay. Please. Uh, not all Orisa. Obatala doesn't take uh, palm wine. Palm wine. Okay. Obatala is a taboo for Obatala to take palm wine. Okay. You see the term. Okay. Because I, I never understood I will that. Tell you this. Okay. You look at it. This is let me see. gin. Correct. You understand? Right. This is made in Nigeria, not you. Oh, okay. So this is African. It is African gin. And if you look at the other yeah, what they things they use in making it, the okay. Africans. Oh. Is it a black owned company? Yes. Okay, because in America I just don't understand why we give African gods white man liquor. That's just I, I'm being petty. I can't help it. I would rather just give them palm wine or African alcohol. You see, if you have uh, this, if you are an Ifa initiate, mm -hmm. if you, uh, you have the uh, knowledge of Ifa, you have better understanding of some things. Because the Orishas, what they take is not the same. You understand? Some Ogun takes palm wine. Or Batala don't, don't. Okay. You understand? Okay. Some uh, there are some animals that some ghosts do take. I mean African ghosts that they take. There are some that the others don't take it. You understand? If you go to if you are very familiar with the terrain of Babalawos in Nigeria or in Africa generally, when you go to when you are cooking for a festival or you are when you are preparing meal for people, you ask them the type of meat they eat, the type of meat they don't eat. Because as an initiate, there are things you take, there are things you don't take. 
and that is a very important aspect of the religion and that's one of the beauty of it because those things you don't take uh, you don't take if you take it it may act, have negative effect on you so that's the reason why you need to wait patiently acquire the knowledge before start practicing like we discussed about the yanifas mm -hmm. the yanifas there are some things there are some rules that may babala was cannot perform that is only female okay. who is knowledgeable i mean the yeah, yeah, female who are knowledgeable mm -hmm. In the, 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 the religion that can handle such rules. Are you getting me? I understand. Africa is a society. We are everything. When you mention something, it's when the gods hear it, they act on it fast. Africans, though, we are not trained to tell lies. Because you are gods, you don't need to tell lies to them. When you swear by your God, they act faster than anything. You remember when we went to Shubu, or when we were in Shubu, during those people's uh, festival? Yes. <laughs> and they said, pray, when they are, we are about praying with Kula. Kula doesn't understand the English language. If you remember that. Yes. They say Kula not don't understand English. They understand your native language. If you hold the Bible, the Bible may not work. If you show about the Quran, it may not work. Because they are not part of us. They are foreign things. Bring, yes. And they brought them from other land to this place. They are aliens to our religion. They are aliens to our system. But uh, as somebody who is, people who are Babalawos, who are Yanifasa, people who are trained to be very careful, cautious, and you is somebody who can keep secret. You understand? Before you can stand out, call yourself a babalao, you must have the long knowledge. Right. Clear understanding of what whatever has been uh, the knowledge of very good knowledge of Ifa. You know Ifa is very broad. And it's some not something you can train, acquire within two weeks or three weeks. And you come as a dan call yourself. But a you do, but you know in America you pay the right price. Listen, in America, you pay the right price. You can be a, hey, hey. Right, you pay the right price in America, you can be a babalao in a week. And you have a lot of that going on. A lot of that going on. You, if, can, be, you can be voodoo priest uh -huh. in one week. If I pay the right you, price. I may see. I will, tell, I will ask her how many, to tell you how many years of training mm -hmm. she had before okay. she became an Indian. Mm -hmm. And then can you first explain what a Yan Ifa is? A Yan Ifa is a female Babalao. Mm -hmm. We call it a female priest, uh, priest, uh, priest uh, she's uh, like a priestess. You understand? She's a female Babalao who has very good and clear knowledge of Ifa. Very good understanding of Ifa, who has passed through training. That's why I, uh, why I said you should ask her how many years of training did she pass through? How many years of training before he became a Babalao Yan Ifa? <laughs> 13 years and 6 months 13 years 13 13 one three one thirteen. so how do you feel when you have Baba Laos who train for 3 weeks maybe it's very wrong who are now initiating people doing readings how do, how do you feel and in charging for that how do you feel it's, it's, it's kind of a kind of it's a rough job there's no way they can. There's no way he can. He can. He can learn for a few days and understand everything. Mm -hmm. He cannot do the perfect job. If I have two pos, if I may come in from that angle, if I have two pos, it's two hundred and fifty-six. Mm -hmm. You understand? With so many verses, thousands. Right. Mm -hmm. So before you can learn, you must before you can be a babalao, you may must have learned all those things. And is it possible for you to learn? In few weeks, no. And the funniest, the funniest thing is that initiations done outside Africa, I don't so much believe in it. Uh, listen, I want you to repeat that again. That's uh, we talk initiation done outside Africa. I don't so much believe in it because I suspect fraud. In the sense that, if you look at it, 
Odu is an essential part of initiation. For you to complete, you have a complete initiation. You must do the Odu initiation as a man because women don't see Odu. It's forbidden for women to see Odu. So, Odu is so, 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 I'm sorry to cut you off. So, can a uh, Yanifa, yeah. can she initiate and make Baba Laos? I can. You can, okay. The, the only thing I cannot do is the also do aspect. If our initiation is not the the, the 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 process that only woman only person can do, a lot of people will do if our initiation. So in the aspect of uh, going to to meet Odu, there's a lot of babalao that can do that. I'm initiating people to if I I initiate male I initiated the uh, female, but in terms of uh, Odu aspect. I will, I will direct a male babalao to undo that. If I initiation is not a job that a single person who cleans to Got you, okay. Babalao okay. can do. But you know, because in a, a far, let me just. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It's not something that someone who a babalao, a single babalao can handle. You need at least 10. Repeat that again. Repeat you that need again. At least 10 people who are initiates, who have very good knowledge of IFA. Very good training of IFA for you to get someone initiated into the IFA religion. You understand? Only you, uh, some, one person cannot just come here now and tell us that he is going to initiate you into IFA. That is fraud. It's a lot of that going on. It's fraud. I cannot understand. You understand? Every... And if you look at it at the end of the day, they keep having problems because they don't do it the right way. The right process was not followed. So how do you recognize a fake bubble owl? Like what questions should somebody ask? The question is, before you recognize a good bubble owl, one is from his, his or her character. Okay. A good bubble owl or Yanifa is forced through his or her character. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then the word is that comes out of that person's mouth. And you look at the level of knowledge, if I knowledge, that that such person has. Because those three things are very key. And these people who are too desperate. Correct. If you are too desperate, you fall into the hands of fraudsters. They defraud you and take the way you are. Like I told you earlier, she is just one of the few women mm -hmm. who are well trained Babala Yanifas. If you look at the learning years of training, 13 years, 13. Six, 13 years and six months, learning about what Ifa is. And for those periods, she never initiated anybody because she's still under training. Even up till now, if you ask her, she's still learning. Learning never stops. Mm -hmm. Always gonna learn. Always be learning. If I see a continuous process that you learn, learn, you learn, learn, learn until you die. What's the importance or the significance? Because there's not a lot of female babalaos or yanifas, yes. correct? Yes. What's the importance of ensuring that more women become babalaos or yanifas? Uh, the thing is, one, it will be very great. You see, if I is not something you force some people to do, it comes out of the mind. I want to learn. I want to do this. Because the level of perseverance, endurance, if you ask her to tell you a story, within those, what she passed through within that, uh, uh, those years, 13 years of training, is a lot. So it's not everybody that can endure that. Are you getting me? Yes. If I comes from the earth, and the funniest thing is that if I picks the people, he uh, if I picks people he wants to use. It's not everybody. As at that, I think that the period that she began, she started uh, 
the learning process. If you ask her, she will tell you there are many that started. If you ask the number of people that graduated, it's just few. Oh, so a lot don't finish. So many don't finish. Why? Like why? Why, why hey. was it? I used to. I used to uh, I can't say this on camera. I can't. I can't say this on camera. Uh, dang. I'm part of a fraternity. Okay. And in the past, like a long, long, long time ago, when they used to haze, used to long, 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 long time ago, many people didn't finish their process. Okay. They either just quit. They didn't have it in them. They just didn't want it that bad. Want it as bad. Why would somebody who wants to be a babalawo, why would they want to quit the process? Especially all the time they invested in it. If you're a far learning, it's like walking on a nail. Nails. Mm -hmm. You understand? If you put a nail on a wood. Uh -huh. You see, walking on those nails with your bare foot without wearing anything is not easy. So you have to do that. No, what I'm saying, I'm just oh, okay, 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 okay. doing an illustration. Learning is not easy. For you to get everything done, follow the process and complete it is not an easy, a easy task, task. Are you getting me? Yes. So many people believe if I is about making money, if I is not. I don't believe if I is about making money. Most of these women you are seeing here, to be a millionaire. Be a billionaire. <laughs> because putting 30 years into a job is not easy. And if you look at what she has passed through before she got she got to this stage, mm. it has it's not easy at all. So if I learning if I is not too easy, the tax involved is just too much. That is not everybody that start, uh, started. But I will finish the journey. What, um, why did you want to become a Yanifa? Because that's a huge responsibility and commitment. Why? I cannot say that. Okay. Because when I was in, in the age of uh, seven years, my father just called me and said, Hey, my wife, if I need you, you are the one that I appoint. If I said you should go and learn Ifa. I, I said, Father, no, I can never. Eh, Ifa? I no, 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 I can't. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he, start, he started the actions. He took me to one of my 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 father. We called him uh, Baba Fal Araba Faladi, Araba of Ogbogba Osun State. I stayed with him with him for some some years. But but my father says that uh, I was just playing. Because it's my grandfather, it's my grandfather from my mom mother's side. So just like playing, playing. No, the, the learning is not fast at all. So later, my father consulted the far, and if I said they should throw me to the, to the far place to learn. So since then, from then, Baba transferred me to here to Oyo. Since that is why, that is what happened. You see the thing is, you don't just wake up one day and say, I want to learn Ifa. Okay. If I choose the people, yeah. that this one will be my follower, this one will be my priest. They are rules, they are worshippers, and they are professional, traditionalists, the priests and priestess. You understand? Yes. And they don't just wake up one day and tell you, next week I want to be Babalao or I want to be Yanefa. It's a father that makes that prediction. Even right from birth. You see, we have one problem with the blacks in the diaspora. It's a problem. The problem is they just pick names. Right, the name ceremony. Yeah. They gave themselves Yoruba names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One without consulting the father to ask what is supposed to be my name, and they don't do the rituals. There are rituals we we'll do before giving children names. We we'll do reading, we we'll do all sort of things. We we'll do sacrifice, Ebo, a lot, so that that name can match the ties. Uh, 
destiny. You don't just change your names. If I will point to tell you this is what to do, this is what to do. Are you getting me? I get you. So the thing is, if I choose people that he wants to work with, it's not that you just come and woke up one day. I want to be a Christian and I want to be a pastor. You establish a church. If our religion is never like that. So there are processes. If you don't follow the process, the repercussions are there for you. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to give proper introductions. Okay. So every, tell Father Jiki, we know you, but tell everybody. I tell everyone else who you is simple. What's your name? Father Jiki. Akoni Olawale Father Jiki. <laughs> you understand? I'm a priest. Uh, I will call myself a social worker. Okay, that's fair. You understand? Yeah, 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 I, 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 yeah, yeah I agree. I'm a social worker. I agree, yeah. I'm a feminist too. A who? Like a feminist. A who? Like the, a feminist. You're a feminist? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what makes you a feminist? Uh, I, I, have, I have love and sympathy for women. I have passion for women. Uh -huh. My mother is a woman. I have a daughter. Mm -hmm. Who is a lady. Mm -hmm. Growing up to be a woman. Mm -hmm. And I have friends. Who are women? And I love them so much. Yes. I I am not a feminist. Okay. <laughs> but you have a wife. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in women empowerment, but I am not a feminist. You see the uh, the this ideology of feminists is there has different perspective to it. Your religion teaches that you will be you will be submissive to your husband. You tell your husband whatever. You don't keep secrets from your husband mm -hmm. because your husband is supposed to be your best friend. Yes. Are you getting me? Yes. So that your house can be united and there will be peace in the house. You discuss things, you share ideas with each other. Any idea you have, you share it with your husband. And if you look at people who does that, they are always, their life is always in the, uh, there are positive things happening in their life. Are you getting me? I, I, I get you, but see, the word submission to a feminist means... Submission, the meaning submission has a lot of meaning. You understand? Mm -hmm. the, to Americans, I mean white Americans or this thing, they have different meaning uh, to submission. But to us, submission is a positive word. It's not that we are enslaving people. We don't enslave our wives. Are you getting me? We I, don't suppress them. We don't, we don't oppress them. But per African women who get educated, per African women who get educated in the West, okay. the African man uh. is oppressing the African woman and she's oppressed and she's in danger. And dear white feminists, come say, come partner with us to come save the African woman. If you ask her, you understand? Mm -hmm. She is submissive to her husband, but she's not a slave. Are you getting me? Yes. The husband is looking for her progress every time. Yes. She is a musician. And the husband partner with her to make sure that her wife is uh, his wife is successful. Is that oppression? No. They put songs together, they write songs together. Hmm. They work together to make sure that the wife is successful. Is that oppression? No. So those negative words about African women. Yes. And um, to, um, and to me, it's unfounded in Yoruba land. We don't do such. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. We don't do such. I don't want to say anything in closing. The only thing I can just say is that uh, you are you I, I, you are highly welcome to Nigeria. Thank you. I love Nigeria. I wish you a messy journey to your to your destination. Thank you. And then my advice to everyone that want to be an Yanifa is to go for the go for the correct learning. They should learn to, for so many years. 
IFA is not something that you can just learn briefly and go and to attend to people. No. There's a lot of things to learn in IFA. IFA will teach us, even before you come today, IFA has mentioned your coming since seven days ago. <laughs> Tell me. If I said I should as not leave this house for good seven days, mm. I told you when you when you came. She mentioned that when we came. If I said I should wait, if not because of that, I have several things to do today. Yeah, I have to call one of my Omaru to come and assist me to do so those things because I have to send someone to Lagos. So if I ask, if if you don't learn to the that level, how will you know? So. Everyone who wants to be an Yanifa or Babalawo, you must so you must submit yourself for the learning. Learn too much to understand what the word Ifa means. You don't just rush to into the, the Ifa and say, hey, I'm, I'm not I'm, I've started Yanifa as a Babalawo. You cannot initiate people low only. You need to you I need uh, several Babalawo, several people to us to join you in initiating people. If you are not initiated to river, you don't initiate anyone. Because it's like you want to take somebody to his father's house while you also don't know the the, 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 the place. So you must you must learn Ifa before you start you start being, being Yanifa or Babalawo. You must initiate to Ifa to all Orisha before you initiate people. Don't initiate when you know you are not being initiated. So may Ifa help all, help us all, and assist all in everything we are doing. Let me ask this last question then. What are a few questions? I know you said the person's character, but what are a few questions to ask a Babalao to ensure that they are a real Babalao? Few questions. Yeah, what kind of questions should you ask? Few questions. Few questions. You know, before you meet someone, if you are not too desperate, you should at least know him for a few time. So that you know his past. Are you getting me? Yes. Church or mosque are things you can start within a few seconds. You can't start before trying. Within a few seconds, a few weeks, it takes a lot of. I don't. You need. I personally, I only need five minutes to discuss with someone before I know the level of intelligence that person has. Are you getting me? Yes. So just be vigilant, be watchful, because there are a lot of people there who are out there to defraud people. Yes. And if I strongly preached against. That if I never support fraud, if I never support stealing, are you getting me? Yes, if I never support corruption, all we need is we need to put uh, get ourselves. Uh, we should just be watchful. And if you want to be a Babala, we need patience. If you want to be a Yanifa, you need patience because learning. Acquiring the knowledge takes a lot of patience because you pass through a lot before you can acquire the knowledge. Thank you. Okay. How can people contact you? Your contacts. Contact information. Uh, the, my my Facebook address is uh, if I be or Morisha if I tell you know. Okay. And my cell phone number is plus two three four eight one six one seven nine three zero four eight. Thank you. My Thank name you. is Yanifa oh. Ifanbenjo Ifani Yoktawedi. Thank you. I appreciate it. And and good I'm luck. So Yalo de Akayola for your land. She's a chief. Oh, chief. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> so we have a woman chief. Yes. Yes. And Ifa priest. Yes. You're doing big things. As we say in America. Like I said, she's a musician too. Uh -huh. Who? Yes. She, she's a musician. Musician too? Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. She has a lot of epi into her uh, credit. Is that the other? Uh, so, let me bring it to you. Okay. <laughs> she's a very talented woman. Very talented, I see. Yeah. Very talented a African woman. African woman. Very talented. She's a pride of Africa. Uh, pride of Africa. Yeah. <laughs>
very talented African woman. Yes. Yes. Oh, these are your CDs. Yeah. Okay, we got CDs. She produced this. Okay, that's you. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This guitar, look, focus, focus, focus. Okay. Here we go. There we go. That's better. Okay, cool. Perfect. Perfect. Are you on? Are you on iTunes? Do you have to get on iTunes? No. No. Okay. Oh wow. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you, and you know, may you continue to be successful. Ah, Shay. Ah, so I can go out now. You can go out there. Yeah. Yes, yes. You are now free. <laughs>